I'm Stumpy Dubs, and this is the Super Crosscut Sled. Come on, why not? Woodworking magazines say things like that all the time. I was gonna call it the super duper awesome, life-changing cure tuberculosis crosscut sled, but I decided to tone it down a little bit. You gotta use good plywood, the best you can get your hands on. Luckily for us, we got a local joint here that sells good maple plywood. Um, Home Depot. Oh, dado sets scare the crap out of me. That's a lot of spinning teeth. Suppose you could do it with a router table like they do in Europe, but router tables scare the crap out of me. Yeah, I decided to fancy this one up a little bit. I rounded off the corners, I had the stash do a little sanding. You know, I like my crosscut sleds to be classy. I did have to use the router table to cut the slots down the center of some of those dados. Um, those are stop cuts and that's really not that hard to do on a router table if you just put a piece of tape on your fence to show you where the center of your bit is and then you can stop when your mark hits that point. This project's great for getting rid of a lot of those little scraps that I just can't bring myself to throw up. I made these little blocks that support the fence and they keep the face of it perpendicular to the bottom of the sled. But you have to be careful. You got to make sure that those blocks are square. They might seem like small parts of a larger project, but if they're not right, the whole thing's not going to function properly. Brand nails? Yeah, I love those things. I don't know what we did without them. I don't have to clamp anything anymore. I just shoot a few nails in and then I move on to the rest of the assembly. I'm pretty sure that's how they built the pyramids. Yeah, that part was a little touchy. I had to attach the fence to the top of all those blocks, and I had to make sure the face was perpendicular, but between the face and those blocks are the sliding fence extenders, and those had to be loose, but not wobbly, and I had to glue it all up and manage the glue squeeze out, but I managed. <laughs> Forget about brad nailers. I mean, what do we do before the combination square? I use that thing on every project. I really don't know what I do without that. You build as many jigs as I do, you use a ton of T-Track. I order mine by the case. Seriously, by the case. One of my favorite parts of the sled are the replaceable inserts. They support the fibers beneath your workpiece so you get a nice clean cut, kind of like the zero clearance insert in your table saw. And you can use different inserts for different widths of dado sets and blades, so it's really handy. I don't know why all homemade sleds don't have these things. I made my own runners from an old plastic cutting board I stole from my wife's kitchen. <laughs> yeah, she was pleased. I put double-sided tape on the runners and then I carefully set my sled down on top of them using the table saw fence so that it would fall right in line with the blade and it would be square to the blade. You also have to be careful when you lift it back up because that tape isn't all that sticky and you don't want those runners to move at all before you get some screws in them to secure them in place. Cutting that first kerf just feels awesome. It's like the culmination of this whole project. At least it'll be awesome if you didn't screw it up and the whole thing falls into two pieces when you cut that curve. I made a simple stop block that'll fit in that T-Track on top. These are great for making really accurate cross cuts, especially if you've got to do more than one of the same length. I love these fence extensions. They really extend the capacity for those stop blocks and they support the workpiece. There's one on each end so you can cut from either side of the blade. Now the sled's just the first part of this project. I also made three jigs that attach to the sled so you can cut finger joints, spline miters, um, half laps, tenons, bridle joints, all that kind of stuff. I also made some really cool micro adjusters that attach to the fence. But um, why don't we take a break, maybe have a cold one, and we'll get to that one in a little bit.